Hi, my name is Cynthia Guazda, a community services librarian at Hageman Memorial Library in East Haven. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the tool JobNow. JobNow is a job searching um, and resume assistance tool um, that's very helpful. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a tutorial um, on how to use it. So um, we're going to get started. The first thing you're going to do is go to the library's website, which is www.hagemanlibrary.org. That's right up here at the top. You're going to scroll down the page once you get to the page. And under Digital Library Resources, you will see this little icon here that says Job Now, Live Interactive Online Help for Job Seekers. And all you need for this is a Hageman Memorial Library card. So you click right there and it brings you to the page. And now you can either click right here where it says create a great resume that stands out with Job Now, or you can click um, this link right here that says Job Now. So you just click the link and it's going to bring you to this page. So what you're going to need is your Hackman Memorial Library card, and you're going to type in the barcode under Get Started, where it says enter your library card barcode number with no spaces or dashes. You're going to type in two, it, the prefix is 219, <clears throat> 21953 is the prefix for um, your East Haven Hackman Memorial Library card barcode. So you type your whole barcode in with no spaces or dashes. And then you click on log in to job now. So you'll see there's three choices here. There's resume, job interviews, and career resources. So if you're looking to get advice about a resume, or if you need to build a resume, uh, you could do that over here under resume. So the first choice here is live resume expert. This is resume assistance from live experts that you can get right here. So you, we'll click on that. So it will bring you to a page where uh, you will be connected to a tutor and that person can give you advice on your resume. Uh, you can uh, write a resume here. You can also down here where the paperclip is, you can upload your resume and show it to the tutor. And that person will be able to give you feedback on your resume and help you to edit it so that when you share, so it will be in good shape when you go to send it to employers. So that's the live resume assistance, assistant. The next thing under resumes is the resume templates. So the resume templates, um, there's three different templates that you can use in JobNow. Um, there's the chronological resume template, which it's a, uh, what a chronological resume typically lists each job you have held in order, beginning with the most recent. This works well if you have several years of relevant experience. Then there's the combination resume. A combination resume lists your experience and skills first and your employment history next. This allows you to both highlight your relevant skills and to provide the chronological work history that some employers favor. The last one is the functional resume template. A functional resume focuses on your experience and skills instead of your chronological work history. It works well for people who are changing careers or, or who have gaps in their employment history. So we'll look at each one of those. <clears throat> I'll click first on the chronological resume 
template. And we'll open it with Microsoft Word. So this is what it looks like. You click on Enable Editing, and it gives you this template that you can, you can then change all of the information in here. It get, what this does is just give you a template by which, uh, in which to work so that you can change the information. You just highlight the information and then you can just hit the backspace key or delete key and you can put your own information in its place. So you can type in, um, I am an experienced engineer, or um, you can say I'm an experienced librarian. Um, you can put whatever you want here. Uh, the profile, this is the profile part of the resume uh, and which where you want to really show your, um, your skills. Um, that, you know, things about you that stand out. Uh, that's what you want to put in the profile section. And there's the education section. And as I said, you can, um, can uh, left click in front of where you want to change, hold down that left hand button on the mouse, drag it over the information, hit the backspace key, and then you can put in your own information here. So you can put, um, uh, a university you attended. I'm going to put Eastern Connecticut State University. You can put um, the address and uh, when and the years that you attended uh, the university. So that's what you would put under education. So you usually want to put the education that's pertinent to the position you're applying for, or you want to put um, high school and definitely high school and college education experience. Um, also under awards and recognition, you can put those here. Um, professional experience down here is where you would put your job history. And you can also put leadership and activities, any special activities that you did, any kind of uh, committees you were part of or any kind of leadership role that you've played in any organization, you can put that here. Computer skills, you can put down what your computer skills are. Um, that's very helpful. This, uh, so this one is the chronological resume. And as I said, you can just highlight, using the mouse, highlight the information, hit the backspace key, type your own information in, and then you just go up to file and then you save it. So you just say save as and you save it in your documents and you can call it, um, I'm gonna call mine Cynthia's resume. So you just type that in, you can save it in your documents and just click save. And then you have a saved resume. So that's kind of how you use the templates. So any of the templates that you are working with in JobNow, whether you download the chronological resume template, which is the one we just looked at and that I was just editing, or the combination resume or the functional resume, you would do the same thing. It provides you with templates and then you would edit the templates to make your own resume. So those are the three resume templates that you can use in JobNow. Then there's resume resources. These are online resources to help you prepare your resume. So if you click on resources, it will give the list the temp three templates again. Um, then it gives you military uh, resume templates, career one-stop resume guide, website free resume writing tutorial, military skills translator, Vets.gov Military Skills Translator. Make your, your military resume interviewable. Get your military resume in shape for a civilian job search. Translating military experience to civilian employment and military resume and interview tips. These are just, these are different resume resources that you can use in JobNow. 
And there's the resume lab. The great thing about the resume lab is that if you if you're not in a rush, I mean, I would say that if you really want to to get information quickly about what you need to edit in your resume, probably you want to choose the live resume expert um, temp uh, choice up here, live resume expert, so that you're actually talking to somebody, you can upload your resume, they can look at it, and in real time, they can tell you what you need to change about it. They can give you tips. You can go over it with them right online. So that probably, if you're really in a rush, you need to get it out quickly, that's probably the one you want to start with. But there's also the resume lab. So if you go into the resume lab, you may have to over here create an account within JobNow. Um, so the way that you do that, so you logged in with your library card, but you can also create an account. And the good thing about creating an account in JobNow is that you can save things that you work on within JobNow. You can get messages from people. You can take tests, practice tests. So there's a lot that you can do, and you can save it right inside of JobNow so that you don't have to worry about where it's saved. So it, what that means is if you log into JobNow from any computer, whether you log in from your home computer, from a friend's computer, as long as you're on the internet, you'll be able to access your documents if you save them within JobNow. So that's what having the, the account um, registering with JobNow, that's what it allows you to do. So in order to use the Resume Lab, they're asking you to register in JobNow. So the way that you can do that is you can sign up down here where it says don't have a username or password, it says sign up, so you can click there. Then over here, what you would do is choose a username. So you could type your first initial, your last name, and maybe a couple numbers, or anything, any kind of name that you're gonna remember. And you would type that in, then you would make a password. So you wanna make sure the password is not crackable, it's something that, you wanna make it something that you'll be able to be able to remember, but also something that is gonna be hard for someone else to, um, to be able to guess. Uh, that's the important thing about, about passwords, no matter what database you're in. You wanna be careful that no hacker can get into your account. And you do that by making a strong password. So, one of the things you can do is I have one that I use where you, it, it, the best thing to do is to use a long password. Um, I love my dog so-and-so, or it can be a, a short sentence that no one would be able to guess. Um, and so you could, you type that in. You want to make sure that you write down your username and password so you don't forget. So you're gonna type in your password here. And you re-enter it. So you're making, you're making up your own username and your own password here. Then you're gonna click here where it says password hint. So this would be if you forgot your password, JobNow might ask you, um, they would ask you this question. So whatever question you choose here, I'm gonna choose what's your favorite color, and I'm gonna put lilac. So then you would just click next. I'm not gonna do that because I, I already have an account in job now, so I'm just gonna log in. Okay, so now we're in job now. We're logged in, we're registered. So now when you click on Resume Lab, you're already registered, so it will bring up the Resume Lab. 
this is what you can use if you have a day or two to play with. If you're not, you don't need feedback on your resume right away. What you can do is you can upload a file here. So you can upload your resume. If you've typed up a resume using one of the templates that I just showed you, you can click, you saved it. So you click on upload resume, you go into your documents and then you pick your resume. Like I would pick uh, Cynthia's resume and then I would click open. So I would um, go, so it's uploaded now. So what you would do then is you'd wanna tell the person that's evaluating it, I am looking for a job in, I am looking for a position as a librarian in a medium sized library, something like that. You wanna, you wanna let the resume expert know what, it, what kind of position you're looking for so that when they're looking at your resume, they can have an idea of how to help you tweak it to get the most, to make it as strong as possible for the type of position you're looking for. So then you would submit it down here. You would submit it and then within 24 hours, you, you will get a response. And probably over here in your message center was, is where you would receive the the feedback on your resume. So what will happen is the resume expert will go through it and they'll make suggestions on the side of it in red. And then when you'll get it back in your message center the next day, and then you can look at what the person said and you can make those changes in your resume based on what the person said if you if you agree with that. So that's the resume lab. Now there's optimal resume. So an optimal resume, it's asking you to agree to the terms of use. So you could read, you'd read all that through. And once you're done reading it, you just click on I agree and you click continue. So what you're gonna do here is, this is gonna help you build a resume from scratch. So all you have to do in this particular, um, this resume tool, what this is gonna do is you just have to type in the information. So you're gonna put in your contact information usually goes at the top of your resume. So what you're gonna do is put your first and last name You're gonna put your email address. And then you confirm the email, so you type it again here. And you put your address in. And down here, there's a down arrow. You're going to pick your state and then put in your postal code and your phone number. So you'll type everything in here. This is all your, the contact information. Remember, this is the contact information you want on your resume. That's what you want to put in here in this form. So you're gonna click save and continue. So now, now that you put in your contact information, you can now choose what you want to do here. So 
what you want to do is create a resume. So you're going to click create new resume under resume. So now it's asking you to put in the name of the resume. So you could just put Cynthia's resume um, or a resume for librarian position or resume for engineer position or nursing position, any, anything you want to put there, but you're naming the resume. So you're going to click start resume. So now what it does is you can start a resume from scratch, you can browse different sections, or you can browse sample resumes. I would advise when you're starting out with this particular tool to, to, to go under browse samples, click continue. So what this does is it gives you samples of different types of resumes for different positions. So if you were, um, say you wanted a management position, well, there's 54 different types of management resumes in here, so you can click on that. And then it gives you, it gives you a list. It gives you a list of all of the uh, different types of management positions. So as you can see here, it's giving us lists of different types of management position resumes. From executives to you know, all different types of, of management resumes. Like here's a construction manager. So if you want to look at that resume, you can click select. And it will give you the You'll be able to look at the resume to see if it's if you like the formatting of it. If you do, you can click use this sample. And then what it does is it populates your contact, the contact information you put in in the beginning at the top here. Then it it uses the template that you've selected, the resume you've selected, and it gives you that format. What's nice here is that over here under sections, you can move things around. So if you'd rather have your professional experience at the top under your contact information, you can move it. So over here, if you notice, under number two, it says professional experience. Well, maybe I wanna put that, instead of having this at the top where it says accomplished construction management professional, Maybe I want to move that down um, just as an example. So I want to put my professional experience above that. So you come over here under sections and you would just left click and you would grab onto the professional experience. You're going to move it up. So now your professional experience is going to be at the top. Okay, then if you click on the section, you can also make changes to it. This is where you can edit it. One of the nice things about this particular tool, this is called Optimal Resume, Rather than using the resume templates that I showed you, the, the difference here is that 
it keeps you within the parameters of the template without you really having to worry about going outside of those parameters and possibly changing the formatting of your of your document. So that's a good thing about this. So then when you're done editing it, then you can just come down here and click save, and then you save that. So if you, if you come over here under sections, at the bottom you'll see add section, so you can add a section, or over here you can click on register, reorder, excuse me. So that's where, uh, that's where I was mistaken before. If you wanted to move your professional experience up under where the untitled selection is, you could just click on it and move it. And then your professional experience will be on the top. Say um, you had a section down here that had uh, that had awards you've received, certifications you've received, and you really want to highlight that. So maybe you want to put that under your professional experience. So then again, you would hold down that left hand button on the mouse. You're going to drag it up under professional experience. Oops. Okay, it's giving me a bit of a hard time. Okay. But basically you can you can reorder things here. So this is a help this is helpful um if you're trying to move things around. So that's where you can reorder. You can add sections, you can reorder, you can change the style of the resume up here. So you can make it a different style. You can spell check it up here. This is under document. You can change the style. Um, you can format the header. So here's your header that has your, your name and email. You can change that. So you can do a spell check. You can show history. So that shows the different versions of your resume that you've done in here. And then of course, down here we have tools, resume samples, resume video tutorials, section instructions, section examples. So you have that under tools. So there's a lot here that you can use. And again, under, under the resume section of JobNow, we're just gonna go back. So in OptimalResume.com, it shows here, this is, we were just under this section that says resumes. Now there's a letter section. So that's where you can create a cover letter. And it works pretty much the same way that as building your resume does. So you can manage websites. So there's different things you can do in here. So what I was showing you is creating a resume which is right here. And the first thing we did, of course, okay. Okay. So that, so the tool we were just looking at down here is under, is right here, Optimal Resume. So, and it says award-winning resume creation software, job interview preparation, and much more. So that's what we were just looking at here. So then there's, under job interviews, you have a live interview coach. So this is where you can connect to a live interview coach, and that person will help you they'll help you do an interview. So they'll, they'll talk to you about doing an interview and you can do practice runs with that person. 
So that's the live interview coach. Then there's interview tips. So if you click on that, um, it gives you tips before the interview, at the interview, common questions and sample responses, answering sub sub substantive questions, questions to ask the interviewer, the don'ts of interviewing, and after the interview. And then there's online re resources. These are carefully selected resources to help you prepare for an interview. So this is the pathway to interview success. It's a step-by-step -step guide through the interview process. There's insights designed to help you successfully interview and get the job you want. There's interview tips. Interviews are your chance to sell your skills and abilities. They also give you a chance to find out if the job and company are right for you. So you wanna follow the tips listed here to ace your interview. 100 potential interview questions by monster.com and dress for the interview. So that's interviewing. Then under career, there's a live job coach. This is uh, expert assistance with searching, applying, and preparing for jobs. So this is really sort of everything combined. And this, connect, again, connects you in with somebody that you can chat with right online. So it's the same thing as like the live resume expert or the live interview coach. This is a live job coach. This person will cover everything from searching, applying, and preparing for jobs. And you do it right online on any computer. You can log into JobNow from any computer that has the internet. Here's career assessments. These things are really excellent. These, this is where you can go in and do some assessments, answer some questions to see what you might like to do. In ONET, ONET is a self-assessment career exploration tool and it helps you discover the type of types of work activities and occupations that you'd like and that you'd find exciting, your identity and learn about broad interest areas most relevant to yourself. You can use your interest results to explore that field of work. There's career zone self-assessments. So it offers three excellent self-assessments -assess designed to help you find careers that match your personality and interests. So in here, you can, uh, you can make money choices. Here's an interest profiler. Discover what your interests are and how they relate to the world of work. The interest profiler helps you decide what kinds of occupations and jobs you might want to explore based on your interests. Um, the make money choices, um, how much money will you need to support your lifestyle and which occupations will enable you to lead the life you want. Developing a budget can help you explore these options. So the make money choices will help you to do a budget and the interest profiler that helps you to find out what your interests are and how they'll relate to a career or a job that interests you. Then there's a quick assessment uh, that explores jobs that best match your personality. Are you realistic, investigative, artistic, social, enterprising, or conventional? Find out with this quick assessment. Then there's the work importance profiler. What's important to you in a job? Discover how much you value achievement, independence, recognition, relationship support, and working conditions in a job. Get a list of jobs that reflect your values. And then there's the skills profiler. What skills have you acquired through your jobs and other activities? The skills profiler can help you explore occupations that require your skill set. So this is for for look then there's career planning it, there's a free tutorial from learnfree.org which walks you through three simple steps to a better career so that's what let's see down here 
Now the ONET is, can be very helpful because ONET, you can look up a, you can look up a career, say, I'll put in librarian. So you look at uh, in the search bar up here, I just typed in a career, click go. So now it gives me a list of, of, of occupations and careers. So first one is librarian, so I'll click on that. So this tells you, the nice thing about ONET, it tells you what they do in, in the particular occupation that you're interested in. It tells you what you would do on the job. It would, it down here, it tells you what knowledge you would need, the skills you will need, and the abilities you'll need. The type of personality of someone who would be good at the job and the type of technology you need to learn, the amount of education you'd need, uh, the job outlook. And there's, there's plenty of other things here of other types of careers that might be similar. So this is a really good, it's a, it's a really good profile that kind of gives you an outlook of different careers. And you can print it up here, you can share it. So, so ONET can be very helpful when you're just trying to Find, look for information about different careers, how much they pay, and that kind of information. So ONET, uh, that's up here. ONET interest profile filer is this one here, which we just went into. And these were the career assessments that I just went over. Um, there's also career aptitude tests, these two links right here, and then career planning. So this is one of the aptitude tests I think that I clicked on here that you can take. So you rate your skill level for each attribute there. So these are the two aptitude tests right here that you can take. Um, this helps to identify possible occupations and career options that you might wanna consider. So that's on what's under career assessment. Then there's job resources. So there's nationwide resources for job seekers and local resources for job seekers. So if you're looking, if you're willing to relocate, you can click here on nationwide resources for job seekers, or you can click on local resources for job seekers, which would give you the, a listing of, of jobs, and the different positions open in your local area. This covers Connecticut in general. There's CT jobs. There's the Connecticut Department of Labor. There's the Connecticut, there's Connecticut job fairs that you can attend. There's Connecticut's job bank. The Hartford Current, ConnecticutJobs.com, New England Personal. So that, that will list, have job listings as well. CT.gov, CT Works Job Centers, Indeed.com, Connecticut, Southern Connecticut Jobs. This would be good for this particular area. So if you click on that, this is good for East Haven, Southern Connecticut. So here you could, you can search here for particular jobs that you're interested in. Here's the classifieds. And it has jobs over here. Jobs in Connecticut Post. I apologize, it's a little slow. Okay, so it's very slow. <laughs> so, uh, but those, th these are the different sites that you can, where you can go to look for jobs. 
Connecticut's job bank, if I can get to the Connecticut job bank, this is a good one because you can, as a job seeker, you can create an account here. You can, you can put your resume in here. So this is a good, a very good site for, to help, this just helps you, um, it search for jobs by state and it allows you here, you can search by occupation. And I believe So once you, you can create an account. So what I did, I was over here and I, I clicked right here under job seekers. So this is, this over here is for employers over on this side, it's for job seekers. So I clicked on create an account. And so you can post your resume once you get an account. Um, you can save your searches in here. And then there's job search agents. So when you click on create an account, you would create a username. Okay. I guess I need to put in an, so here you need to put in an email address. Okay. So you put in your information in this form. And when you get done over here, you click on create an account. Oops. So you just fill all this out and then you would create an account and then you would, then it would allow you to post your resume and help you, help you to get a job through here. So that's just one of the choices that you have here. So right here in the Connecticut post jobs, You can search for jobs in Connecticut, or you can search in East Haven. Um, you can post your resume, get career advice. So that is that. So I went over, I went over Connecticut, uh, Connecticut's job bank, which is where I just was where you can create an account and post your resume and you can look for jobs in Connecticut. And I also went into Southern Connecticut jobs, which takes you to the Connecticut post, which is where I just was. And this is where you can do searches here for jobs in, in the Southern Connecticut area. Then there's Career Builder, that's a national website. There's, if down here, there's job sites for students and recent graduates, job sites for veterans. So there's a lot here um, that you can that you can use. So that's the job resources. There's Skill Surfer, um, live skills building, and a library of lessons, videos, tests, and more. And there's e parachute. Um, discover the college majors and careers that match your skills and interests. That's based on the book series. What color is your parachute? Um, this is a sort of an electronic version of that. Um, so 
Those are the other two things under career. So we also, there's also a section in here uh, called adult learners. So we've gone over the resume resources, the job interview resources, the career resources, and now there's adult learners. So in this section, I just clicked on it, and here's, um, you can do the high school equivalency preparation test. You can prepare for US citizen, this US citizenship test. This is Microsoft Office help, which can be very helpful for a lot of people that don't know how to, or have trouble using uh, the Microsoft products, Microsoft Office. Um, it's just good practice. So, um, So you click on online resources here. So learnfree.org, Microsoft Office Skills. So this sort of will give you different, you get the basics of Word, understanding OneDrive, working with text. So it covers, uh, Microsoft Office, Microsoft Office 2016, Office 2013, Office 2010. So it covers PowerPoint, Microsoft Access, Excel, Word. So, so those are all available to you in this resource as well. So career resources to help you with your job search and write a winning resume. So um, those are the under, under, under the Adult Learning Center, there's lifelong learning, uh, there's live tutoring, skills building, a writing lab, a test center, different types of, of tests that you can take. So you can take a subject, select a subject. So, so that is, that is what the adult learners section is all about. So there's a lot in here that is very helpful in helping you to begin to begin your job search, um, start start a resume, practice interviewing, um, creating a cover letter, of course, is also available within the optimal resume option under resumes. You can also do, do letters in there. And there's the, your career assessments. Uh, you can contact a li live job coach. You can go under job resources to find the Connecticut Job Bank and the Southern Connecticut Job, Re job Resource site uh, through Connecticut Post where you can look for local area jobs. So there's, there's so much here in job now. I hope you will take a look at it. All you need to get in is a library card from the East Haven Hageman Memorial Library. If you don't live in East Haven, many other libraries in the area have job now. So if you go to your hometown library's website, you should look under their digital resources and see if they have job now. All you need is to type in your library card number to get in and then to, to register so that you can save things inside job now and to get access to some of the tools like the resume lab um, and other tools you can um, you can get into that so that that's really all you need to be able to access a uh, job now it's completely free using your library card there's an absolutely no charge for it um, it's an online tool that you can use right from home with any computer that has internet access 
um, or a tablet. You can use it on a tablet. You can use it on a Chromebook. You can use it, you know, on, on pretty much any device. So I, I highly recommend that you check it out. It's on our website, as I said in the beginning. So all you have to do is go to www.hagaman, H-A-G-A-M-A-N, library, one word, dot O-R-G. And when you get to our website, you scroll down and under digital library services, you click here on job now. And then, then you click right here on this image right here, where it says Job Now, Live Interactive Online Help for Job Seekers. So you just click on this image. It will take you into the Job Now site, where under Get Started, you just put in your library card number and log in, as I showed you from the beginning. So I, I, I strongly urge you to, to go in here and take a look and and use it. Um, if you have questions about it, please call the library. You can call us at 203-468-3890. And you will be directed to a reference librarian, either myself or my one of my colleagues, um, who can help you to navigate um, through, through job now, uh, should you have any questions about it. So I, I strongly urge you to, to look at it, and um, it, it's, a, it's a tool that will, will help you uh, during, especially during this time when we're doing everything remotely. It's an online tool that really takes you from start to finish, from just starting, just starting a resume, um, searching for jobs, taking career assessments to see what um, searching for, for for professions that you think you might you might like to do uh, in ONAT, as I showed you. So please do take a look at Job Now. It's a great resource. It's completely free with your library card. So thank you very much for listening to my tutorial. This is Cynthia Guazda from the Hageman Library, and I wish you well in your job search. Thank you very much.